What does it really mean to be unfuckwithable? What do I mean when I say that? Think about it this way. How many times when you're going through your daily life, do people, circumstances, things that happen outside of you impact you in such a way that they steal your peace? What do I mean by that? When I say steal your peace, I mean, these are things that happen externally, something someone said, something someone did, a series of events that transpired outside of you, that then you proceed for the next hour, five hours, 24 hours, week, to have the shower conversations going over and over in your head what happened, getting all riled up about it, laying in bed awake in the middle of the night, rehashing it, getting all stirred up about it all over again. That's an example of being fuck with the bull. And listen, we've all been there. One of the reasons this is what I teach is because I know firsthand exactly how this feels and exactly how much of your precious energy is being siphoned away by things that you actually do have the ability to shift and control. It's just a matter of learning how to do it. So to become unfuckwithable, one of the things that I mean when I say that is that you literally get to the point where you are a master of your own energy. You're a master of understanding your own emotions. You're a master of managing your own feelings. And when I say managing your feelings, it's not like this strict, oh, you have to be this way, like forcing you into anything. No, not at all. It's the piece of this human experience that you can control, which is your inner world. We can't control anything that happens outside of us. We can't control what people say, what they do, anything. And so when we are not in control of ourselves and when we don't understand how to balance our inner world, we're literally at the mercy of forces outside of ourselves. We cannot control other people, can't control what they say or they do. I know it's just a shocking revelation, (laughs) but what you can control is yourself. So if you find yourself in that space constantly of feeling like when you wake up in the morning, your sort of first unconscious thought is fuck what the hell is going to happen today. That's automatically putting you in the energy of being highly fuck with people. So you go to work and something happens and all of a sudden your day is thrown off or your partner says something to you. And all of a sudden you're all pissed off and riled up again. That's the energy that most people live in every day. And part of my purpose is to help anybody who is ready to break free from that pattern and to find a new way of being, because it doesn't mean when I say unfuck with people, I don't mean that you tolerate genuinely bad behavior. It's not about not having boundaries. It's exactly the opposite. And it doesn't mean that there aren't going to be things outside of you that happen. But what it means is that you are such a fucking ninja with your own energy that when something comes up, you know how to work through a trigger. And when I say trigger, if if you don't know what I mean, it's like that full body flood that you get. Something happens and your response internally, like your physiological response and how you're responding seems like somehow it's out of proportion to what happened because there's a trigger there. And that gets into how our body responds, which is a whole other dead dog. But when you have a trigger come up, it's you understanding how to identify, Ooh, I know what this is and having the tools to work through it so that you're no longer putting your peace in the hands of other people. When I say unfuck withable, that's what I mean about being unfuck withable, about being a ninja of your own energy. Stay tuned for more. Sparkle on y'all. Click below to like and subscribe. And remember, life's too short not to sparkle. Sparkle on.